Hi again. So in this video we're going to look at how you would bring a video file or a video clip into PowerPoint and use that to enhance an existing PowerPoint or either create a new PowerPoint and then finally export the PowerPoint as a video file so that you can use it as a wel welcome video for Canvas. Uh, just to point out that I'm working with PowerPoint 2016 on a PC. Let's get started. So I've already got a PowerPoint opened up here and what I'm going to do is first off uh, show you that I've got a creating welcome videos for Canvas. Um, first slide actually displays the name of the course and then we've got more slides that sort of will take you through the uh, course expectations and about the course and then finally we've got a slide that shows you uh, what you might need to address in the sign off. Okay now to bring my intro video in or rather the video clip that I've recorded I'm simply going to insert a slide and then bring the video onto that slide but of course you can also uh, apply the same steps to an existing slide and then bring the video onto an existing slide and then position it so that it is displayed correctly. So what I'm going to do here is go in there and just add a blank slide by clicking on new slide. Now that I've got my new slide here I am going to my insert menu and then I will go across to my video menu and pick video on my PC. That opens up a little explorer window so what I'm going to do now is navigate to the folder where I've saved the video that I want to bring in. Movie Maker Recordings and I want to pick the intro recording and I pick insert. That brings the video up almost full screen. Now here you have the choice obviously of letting it play back at this particular size or for this example I'm simply going to make this fit my slide like so and just a bit more down the corner there that's it all done now when you bring a video in there are a couple of things that you need to do to make sure that it plays back correctly when you export this video or rather this PowerPoint to a video format so make sure that the video is picked and go to the playback menu and over here you will have the video is currently set to start on click but we always want our videos to start automatically for this particular method to work. Now that we've done that we can simply play the video back and see whether it's all good. Hi everyone my name is Kevin and I will be your teacher for creating videos for Canvas. Welcome videos for Canvas. So let's get started. Okay so there you go that's the video but there's a bit at the beginning that I might need to trim in and a little bit at the end as well that I might want to trim out. So this is what I would do. I can simply right click on the video file itself and then pick trim. And when I do that as you can see that displays the video there and it's got the audio shown here and if I play this back hi everyone you can see that the video actually starts round about there-ish just after uh, all that little bit of time has passed so what I'm going to do is grab this little green handle here and move it to the point where I want the video to start and if I play this back now hi everyone my name is Kevin and I will be your teacher for creating videos for Canvas welcome videos for Canvas so let's get started. I'm going to end there before I look away from the camera and I'll simply trim that little bit in at the end using the red handle there. Let's play this back one more time and see that we've got... Hi everyone, my name is Kevin and I will be your teacher for creating videos for Canvas, welcome videos for Canvas. So let's get started. So there you go, we've got the right bit in. I'll simply click OK and that video is set to play back. So now that I've got that video in that first slide or rather the second slide, I can move on to the next slide and 
decide if I'm going to leave it as is and let the students read the information in there or whether or not I'm going to add a narration to sort of enhance or explain what's in there a bit more. So let's assume that we are going to add a narration for this. So let's quickly look at how we might add a narration to this particular slide. What I'll do is I'll go back to insert and then come over here and this time I'll pick audio and I'll pick record audio. So there you go, recorded sound is the name of the file. You can give this uh, a proper name, probably call it about the course. And then what we'll do is we'll hit the record button. So this little counter here will tell you that it started recording already. So now you can go ahead and narrate the slide. So I'm just going to do a shadow voice for this slide so that you get the general idea. About the course, tell students what they will learn in the course and how it fits in within the broader program. What are the key concepts and ideas of the course? Why these concepts are important? How students will benefit from the course? So there you go, now that I've done a shadow recording, I'll simply click OK. And then you'll have this little audio symbol appearing there, which is uh, to signify that the audio has been recorded and that it's on this slide currently. So let's play that back and have a listen. So this little counter here will tell you that it started recording already. So now you can go ahead and narrate. So there you go, we have the recording. Now just as with video, what we're going to do is trim the unnecessary bits out at the beginning and at the end. So I'll simply right click on the file and pick trim. That shows me the waveform of the file. Unfortunately, we can't seem to get that any larger, but let's just simply go to the beginning and play this back. So this little counter here will tell you that it started recording already. So now you can go ahead and narrate the slide. So I'm just going to do a shadow voice for this slide so that you get the general idea about the course. So there -ish is where we want the recording to start. So then let's bring this little green slider there. About the course. Yep, that sounds fine. Let's see whether we can get the correct endpoint it from the course. So there you go. Now trim this fellow up to there-ish. Bring that red guy there and let's have a playback and see. About the course. Tell students what they will learn in the course and how it fits in within the broader program. What are the key concepts and ideas of the course? why these concepts are important, how students will benefit from the course. There you go. Seems just about right. And I'll go ahead and click OK. Now, as we did with the video, we need to make sure that this audio file starts playing automatically when the PowerPoint runs, or rather when the PowerPoint is converted to a video. So what I'll do again is make sure that the audio file is selected like so, and go to Playback and come over here and make sure that automatically is the selection. Okay, now just to recap, we've got already a video on the first slide. We've added some narration to the second slide. You can go ahead and narr add narration to all your slides. Now what I'm going to do is come to my last slide, which is the sign off. And I've created a little extra video as well, or rather I've recorded a little extra video, which I'm going to add into this slide to sort of demonstrate how that might work as well. So I'll simply go into insert video, video on my PC. And once again, I've navigated to where I know I've saved those recordings. So I'll pick extra recording option one. You can pick two or three, depending on how many options you may have recorded. And there you go, there's the file. Now, whereas before we had the video appearing on the entire slide, in this particular slide, I'm going to pick the video and position it like so by simply resizing it. I'll play it back. So I'm, re so I'm looking forward to an exciting... So as you saw, I've made a couple of mistakes there. So I can simply right click on the file once again, pick trim and 
trim it in to uh, where I know I've got it right. Let's play that there. So I'm looking forward to an exciting semester ahead in class. See you all soon. Stop there. Trim the extra bit out at the end as well. Let's check the beginning one more time. There ish. So I'm looking forward to an exciting semester. So I'm looking forward to an exciting semester ahead in class. You get the idea. We simply click OK. Good to go. Make sure we pick the file. Come to the playback menu. Come over here. Make sure that it's picked to play automatically. This step is important for all audio and video files that you might insert into PowerPoint. OK, so we are now ready to export or save this PowerPoint to a video format that can be uploaded to Canvas. Just to recap, we've got uh, an opening slide here that has the name of the course, which is optional, of course. And then we inserted a new slide and inserted an introductory piece of video there, which we have set to playback automatically. Remember, that's an important step. And then in the third slide, we added a bit of audio where we just uh, simply narrated or rather uh, elaborated uh, on the text that's on this slide already. And we didn't do too much with this uh, slide. You can obviously add a narration there also if you liked. And then we added a bit of video in the last slide, uh, which is a bit of an extra inviting students to the course. Uh, let's now move on to the final step, which is exporting this to a video file. So we'll simply go to File and then go down to Export and then go to Create Video. Now, depending on the PowerPoint version that you're using, you may be going to Save As and then picking a video option. But in the 2016 version of PowerPoint on a PC, it's export, and then you'd pick create video. There you would pick, uh, I would recommend that you pick internet quality because uh, that quality is good enough and it will keep the file size down to a manageable size. And you would keep use recorded timings and narrations uh, as the picked option here because you want the videos to determine the duration of the slides that the videos were put on. And any other slide that does not have any video or audio on it will play back for five seconds before it transitions over to the next slide and so on and so forth. Uh, you can obviously increase or decrease that timing depending on your preference. And the final step is where we click on Create Video and that brings up a little explorer window where you can then navigate to wherever you would like to save the video. So I'm just going to call this WIP, which is work in progress, and then click Save. So that will go through the process of saving this PowerPoint to a video file. You can then check that video file, and if you're happy with it, upload it to Canvas or come back to PowerPoint and make any adjustments that are needed.